Music is an incredibly expressive and inspiring thing that human beings live alongside and create. Everyone on Earth has music in their lives. It's something that brings people together and activates our minds and emotions in really profound ways. With all that in mind, here are seven activities that you can use if you have a piece of instrumental music as stimulus for a devised piece. For my example, I'll be using a piece called Spring One by Max Richter. It's a contemporary reworking of Vivaldi's The Four Seasons and it's for a string orchestra. Creative listening. This is a real favorite of mine. You can do it solo or with the rest of your group. Find a quiet space that has a way of playing sound, i.e. a sound system and some speakers. Each member of the group has some paper and a pencil. Play the music out loud and listen to it. Now, write down your responses on the paper. These can be words, pictures, memories, emotions. Write down anything that you want. Don't talk or share ideas when the music's playing. Let it play through and keep scribbling down those ideas. When I listen to Spring One, I think of these words. Tumbling, sunshine, running down a hill, nature, first love, swarm, bliss, wild, ecstatic. After the music's finished, go round the group and share your scribbles by speaking them out loud. Then compile all of these ideas onto one bit of paper. And from this, you should have loads and loads of potential starting points. You could even start every single rehearsal with this exercise to really draw out everything that you can from the music. Other tracks. Have a look at other pieces of music by the same artist or other tracks on the same album. Are there any similar ideas in the different pieces of music? Do they all use the same instruments? Do they have a similar mood or energy? Can you use all these other pieces of music in your piece as well? Create a playlist of all these other tracks on Spotify or on YouTube will be useful. Listen to all these pieces of music and then think carefully about how you could incorporate all of these pieces of music into your piece alongside the original stimulus piece. Moving to music. Create some movement to accompany the piece of music. This could be solo, in pairs, threes, or as a group. There are many ways of creating choreography. Make sure you check out Frantic Assembly, a physical theatre company that has loads of exercises about how to get started making physical theatre. What story can be told by having the piece of music and some movement together? Diegetic or non-diegetic? Diegetic sound is sound that happens in real life. Anything from the sound of someone's voice, to a car engine, to the radio playing, to someone's phone going off. These sounds are all diegetic. Non-diegetic sound is when it's not there in reality. Music in theatre is often non-diegetic. It's often used as underscore in a scene to express something about the story or the character. Is the piece of music you're using as stimulus going to feature in the piece as diegetic music? Is a character going to a music concert in the story and hearing the music played live? Do they hear it on a radio? Perhaps they could play the music live on a piano. Or does the music exist outside of their world for the benefit of the audience? Both options, diegetic and non-diegetic, are interesting ideas to explore in a scene. Where in the narrative? Consider where you want the piece of music to feature in the narrative, the story. Does the music start off the story and feature in the very first section, moment or sequence? Or does the music signify a turning point in the middle of the story, such as someone running away from their partner with someone else? Is the music a turning point where someone overcomes a challenge or a fear? Or could the music feature in the climax of the story? Does it play during the big finale of your piece and help build to a dramatic climax where the protagonist maybe escapes from prison or overcomes an illness? Try placing the music at different parts in the story and see how it brings it to life. Going against the music. A popular use of music in film is to have a piece of music that contrasts starkly from the action that's happening. 
This might be a joyous and happy piece of music, underscoring something unpleasant or evil. Or maybe a dark, moody piece of music, underscoring something jubilant and nice. This creates a jarring effect and makes what's happening visually complex and thought-provoking. Do you want to use music in a similar way? Should the music amplify and support what's happening with the characters in the story? Or can the music contrast what's happening on stage? You could create a simple upbeat piece of movement or an improvisation, such as doing the washing up, and play your piece of music as underscore. Then conversely, you could create a short argument or fight and play the same piece of music underneath. How does it look? How does it feel? Can you explore this idea of stark contrast when using the piece of music in your piece? The music's significance. What is the music's significance to the characters in your piece? Could this piece of music have had some kind of impact on their life in some way? Was this piece of music playing when something amazing happened as a child? Or was it something traumatic? Could this piece of music have been played at their wedding? Or perhaps a family member's funeral? What emotional attachment do they have to the music? Does the music haunt them? Some further inspiration to look at include a play called Acceptance by Amy Eng, in which the lead character, Angela, hears music in her head. This is the stage direction at the front of the play. Music, Bach's St Matthew Passion, is a key reference here. At moments of great stress, Angela hears the arias as an oral hallucination. Finally, the play Amadeus by Peter Schaeffer is about an intense rivalry between Mozart and Salieri, two classical composers. The play talks a lot about how music feels and how it can haunt and intimidate you. Can a character in your piece have an antagonistic relationship with the piece of music? Can they feel oppressed by it? And there we go, seven ideas to focus on and develop when devising from a piece of instrumental music. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do on the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.